Okay, welcome back to session number two of three today. I'm only going to do three sessions, up to three sessions in a day um, when I play. So I'm not only playing every day either. I might do most days, but I won't do every day. Um, if I do, if it does turn out that I do every day, then fair enough. But <clears throat> you're best off taking breaks in between. Don't make it your focus to just to make money playing roulette because you'll uh, be on the sore end of that if you do that. Um, so it's kind of, kind of make you play infrequent, really. Mix it up. So, uh, £12.24 is where we left off at before. I made £2.20. My target's £2. Session target's £2. This is for session number two. £12.24 start. I'm looking to get to £14.24. So I'll bring you back to this sheet, hopefully, once I've achieved that. And again, I'm going to be using my uh, Misinception <clears throat> Roulette Tool and uh, playing this automated table by Evolution Gaming Technology. So, uh, input the history of numbers, so 210, uh, 8436, 8, 8436, 1036, 10, 36, 9, 10, 36, 9, 23, 25, 14, now we've got 1 and 27 plus this number now. So blacks haven't hit for 7 spins in a row. I could do Neighbours by four on the zero. Uh, if this misses, I might do that. Cost me 90 pence. If I do. Number nine. nine. Right. I am going to go with zero neighbours by four. Ten pence. And if I hit on the first spin, that's my target. And you know what? That will be a stop. Bets closing. It's as simple as that. So I'm on the zero by four pockets either side. No, so on the racetrack, you've got uh, four through to 12 covered, nine numbers in a row. Zero is your center number and four numbers either side. This is the first bet, 10 pence per number. If I win, I get £2.70. And I've lost. That's my first loss. 14, I'm going to repeat the bet at the same stake. Please this will now give me £1.80 profit. So I'll be 20 pence off my target if I hit on this spin. Second bet, flat rate. Bets close. You do three flat rates, and your fourth bet will be a double up. No more and that's it. Days. And if you don't hit, you sack it off, and we just do the dozen, dozens and rolls. Second bet for zero neighbours by four, for £1.80 profit. So four through to 12. And that's a miss. So the third bet will give me 90 flat. pence profit if place I hit. Bets. So we continue with it, even though the blacks hit already. Continue with the same bet. And if this hits zero Close. with four pockets either side, I get 90 pence profit of the two pound I'm looking no to achieve. Bets, please. And I only placed that bet because there was a lot of black numbers in a row. It's the same if it's a lot of red numbers in a row. Zero neighbours by four. 12 through to four, zero neighbours. And then the next bet's a double up. So repeat the bet. This is the fourth bet now. Please now, if I hit on this, on a double up, this is going to give me £2.70, which is my target. Um, well, it's 70 pence over my target. So I always give it four bets on this. Bets for zero neighbours. No more bets, please. So four through to 12. Zero by four, fourth bet. Session number two. It's not playing, is it? That's miles Ten. away. Black. So now I'm going to have to rebuild that to try and get Please to £14. Pounds. So I need to make twice the amount. So I'm just going to slowly build it. So I wasn't able to hit the zero neighbours by four. Bets unfortunately, closing. but that does happen. Now, in how do I feel now after that? No after bets. losing and not hitting... And spending, um, you know, about five pound. I'm not comfortable with the loss, so most cases I would feel like chasing that and trying to get that hit, and get that, you know, maybe placing the bet again six. and doing other bets outside of the tool Please. that could land me the win, like number six. Now, if I cover six with four pockets either side, <clears throat> I could probably get my hit here, but. I'm going to stick to the dozens and rolls. 
and I'm going to build it back up. I might go at a higher stake on the oh, dozens and rolls please. though now. Instead of 20 pence, I might do 40 pence start. But I'm really, I'm sort of riled up now to get that win. There's your six up. Oh, that would have been a miss by one pocket. Uh, uh, but anyways. Please place your bets. Because if I'd have done, if I'd have done the six, I would have done four either side, and that would have been twenty-one, which would have been a miss by one pocket, which is a bit annoying. Bets closing. So let's see if I can rebuild this balance. No more bets. So please. third dozen's not hit. Uh, thirty to thirty-six hasn't hit for four spins. I could play the inside game. That's a number in between. Black. So well, this is likely to hit place your third dozen here. So I'm going to go with the third dozen. This is an 80 bets pence bet. Closing. So I've done a combination no of a line bet, a street, a corner, and a, and a split. So if the split wins, 25, 28. 28 is my jackpot. And it's a zero. Zero. Right, third dozen. So here we go. This is where I'm going to go for it. Two quid on that. Put a 26, uh, 28, 29, seven. So look, this is what I'm doing now. Two pounds 80, and I've only got four, no 14 bets, left. Please. This is a chase. If I hit on 26, 27, 28, or 29, that's jackpot. 26, 27, 28, or 29. Number one. one wow. Red. This, is, this is just rinsed. This, this is just fucking rinsed me. I'll do 36 because that's my combo. And I'll do the 26, 29, 32, 35. Bets and I'll do the zero. I'm down to £3.94. Uh, £3 no so this is not how to start off. So I should have started on reflection, not doing the, the zero neighbour thing. And just waited for a dozen and a roll to highlight and stuck to that. Dozens and rolls. You get to where you need to be. 31. Oh, I would have done the split on that. Please I would have caught that. This is just uh, rinsing. This is on rinse mode. Covering the zero because that's been out recently. So if that hits, I might catch that. The zero likes to come in again on this table. Please. But probably not now I've bet on it. I think it's in collect mode. Anyways, middle row. Let's get a middle row number or a zero. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Every other spin. It's doing the every other spin. Please place your bets. So it's going to be nine then, isn't it? Nine, zero. Back to 31. 36 could repeat. And 22, I think. Bets closing. So now I'm doing all sorts of things. I've not no covered a single bets, number please. in that middle row. And the middle row is probably going to hit now. Because I've not covered a number in that middle row. Which is where I was betting. So I've made an absolute hash of this. 31. 9. I've nine. got the 9. Red. Phew. You right win. back up again. Sweet. Please place your bets. So 9. We're going to go to the middle row now. And we're going to cover the six in case it goes there. Seventeen's on the cards and the zero. So for me, no more it's bets, either going please. to be six seventeen or a middle row number. I think seventeen's a jackpot. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Right. Please place your bets. 23. Bets closing. So I've done. No I've done bets, please. middle row. I've done 23 because I think sometimes 21 goes down to 23 if it doesn't hit 12. And I've got the 12 covered if it hits that. And of course I've got the zero in case that comes in again. So 23 is my jackpot. And that's black. what I was covering before. So it's Please heading. It's around the numbers. Uh, 
So this could be 10, 2, 22. This is a double up. Bets closing. So middle roll for number 2. But I'm, I've got £2.24. No it needs to hit the 2 for jackpot. 2 jackpot. Or the 10, 22, 0. Fourteen. Fourteen. That's a hit. You I'll win. take that. Please place your bets. Fourteen. We're going to go with twenty-six. Bets closing. Fourteen again. No more bets. Oh, I just got that fourteen on. I wanted to cover sixteen as well, but I didn't get the chance to get that on. <clears throat> so I'm on fourteen twenty-six by one. So I'm doing my combos now. Fourteen twenty-six. There you go. That's Three. a hit. Boom. Red. So I'm back you up to Please in profit now. So number three landed. Now I'm going to go to third. Oh, now I'm going to do zero, three, twelve. When three lands, it's a zero, three, twelve bet. Fuck it. If this hits, closer. that's job done. So I'm using a bit of my um, combo no <laughs> combo please. setup here. So that was a really what what caused the issue for me to chase this loss was the five reds, five black setup where a lot of blacks in a row had hit. Well, a lot of reds in a row had hit, and uh, I went zero neighbours, and I lost four spins in a row, and that sort of put me on a spiral. Six. To try and chase, black. which you don't do. Please. This is going to go six neighbours probably, so I'm going to do four pockets out of the side at twenty pence. So I'm looking for six Best to hit again close. here, or at the neighbour of six, and I've got no, quite a lot of high please. numbers in that third dozen, the neighbour of six. I've got, you've got the 25, 34, 27, and 36. They're quite high numbers. And uh, so any one of those could hit. But anywhere near six is good. And that's good enough for me. <clears throat> now I've got my target. You so that win. is a stop, instant Please stop. Thank you very bets. much. So I've got now 17, 24. Bets I'll bring up the sheet. 17, 24. No more bets, please. I've just made five pounds, so my two pound was on the target. A bit risky that, but that's how it is for me sometimes. Um, I used a bit of my combos and the roulette tool. So the information was in the roulette tool, but then uh, I also looked at my combos as well and if, whether that would, would hit or not. Numbers two. 6, 25, 17, please and 34 please always bets. pretty much go back to that same range of numbers. So it's a good idea to cover those with four numbers either side. And that's Bets what I did there. Closing. Also, the tool was saying <clears throat> numbers in the third these. dozen hadn't hit. And quite a lot of third dozen numbers, four numbers uh, are in that range could have landed as well. So that was pretty good. Anyway, £12.24 to £17.24, right. £5 profit. That is please session number two secured. Bets. I'm going to set it up for session number three um, for later today. And I'm only going to do three sessions. That's the maximum I'm going to do so far. I've made. Why is that reading that? No more bets, please. Total is twelve. Um, it's not. It's seven. How is that working that out? All right. <clears throat> That's why. Total is seven pounds twenty from a ten pounds start. Ten pound four pence start, seven twenty profit so far after two sessions. So you can see this balance here, this bets profit closed. value is going to be. No more bets, please. You know, that's a really good indicator on a two pound target. You know, it's it's quite good. People will. I know what people's mistakes are going to be now. When people watch this video and they look at this information here, they'll Three. look at this value. Red. They'll look at the forecast and they'll Please go, wow, if this guy gets £3.60 on average every time he plays, he's going to make £129.60 on session 36. I could do that if I get exactly 360 every time. I might just get £2, I might get £1.80, I might get £2.10, £2.20, £2.30, I might not get £3. So that's going to fluctuate. That's just a forecast based on the average at the minute, um, projected average of uh, forecast of that session. Um, so I won't get that. I'll probably get less than that because um, I'm looking to get two pounds only, or around about that value. So 
And a, a lot of people will scale this up. They'll say, well, if I start with £100, I'm going to get £72. That's close. Or I'm going to get, you know, uh, if I start with 1000 I'm going to get £720. It just doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Casinos don't operate in that in that way. Otherwise, they'd, they'd have no money. The metrics and how they work with the casino, the more money you deposit, the harder it is to get into profit. Black. The more they're going to take off you, because the more money that you're giving them to take off you. The less money you give them, the more likely you're going to be able to double up on your, your bankroll with a smaller stake, like I'm doing now. I'm practically doubled up. I'm, I'm a next, my next goal will be pretty much there. Three sessions in, that's it. You're going to struggle to double up with a higher bankroll playing with higher stakes you'll lose much more sooner than you will if you play with a smaller deposit at smaller stakes 100 percent fact anyways that's my experience of what i've learned so this is why i like to get the small wins chip away get a few wins and build it up that way because that works anyways thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the content i'll be back later with session number three see you soon